So this is where I grew up. It was very conservative. It was humble. I moved up to Auckland and met all these fascinating people and these different preferences and sexualities. And suddenly, my life seemed very vanilla. Come on. Let's talk about sex, baby. for your company this morning. Now that was Real Housewives of Auckland's Julia Sloan in her new documentary, Let's Talk About Sex. That song's going to be in your head all day now too. The film takes us on an adventure through the world of Kiwi sexuality into a dungeon, onto a pole dancing stage, behind the scenes at a sex toy shop and inside the very real world of virtual reality sex. Mm. I feel very vanilla now too. <laughs> We're introduced to a gigolo, uh, we get some brothel owners, we talk to them and even Julia's parents as well. Welcome Julia. Yeah, welcome and congratulations. Yeah. 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 yeah, congratulations. So what made you want to make this documentary? Well I just wanted to set things straight that actually it's Lisa Bird who's the filmmaker and the documentary maker. <laughs> I went along for the ride and my goodness it was a ride and we developed a very good working relationship. So my role became a lot more as we carried on. How did she convince you though <laughs> yeah. to front it? Because I guess if you grew up in a vanilla a lifestyle and all of a sudden you're thrown into the dungeons of sex. That was housewives. <laughs> yeah, true. I, 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 brought out, I brought out some adult toys on housewives in one of the scenes. That's right. That's right. And yeah. actually, Lisa and I got talking about it afterwards and how it was amazing how the other sort of wives were saying, oh my gosh, really? You use those? Or oh, do you need help in the bedroom? Or, you know, what's that? And we're thinking, really? Are people just being prudish? Even the general public mm. were sort of commenting. You know, really, is that people's attitudes towards sex and sexuality? What, how, you know, do people, are Kiwis really finding it that difficult to talk about sex? And so Lisa, who was always trying to find documentary ideas, and she just finished with Housewives at that point, she was a line producer, thought, why did we find out? And so we got together and, and there it came about. You see, that is fascinating though. And I think we are quite, you know, generally as a whole, as a nation, we don't like to really talk about things that go on. No, you we're know. a bit shy. Yeah. We watch these yeah. shows on American <laughs> TV and things and see them all talking into about what they're doing with it. Well, we don't though, do we? Like, I don't get together with my girlfriends and discuss <laughs> the totally intimate details. <laughs> we get to a certain level, but not the whole way. Well, we're not really advocating talking about what you sort of do yourself, really. It's just trying to talk a bit more about what's going out there. And the more people we spoke to, there became three quite major themes running through. And when they were? They were okay, so number one was, if you talk about sex, it can help your own relationship. You know, tell each other what you like, what you don't like. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you find out about other things that can spice up your relationship. So that's really good. And like um, the sex therapist we spoke to, she said she had a couple come in who said, one would say, I don't like that kissing. But I've been doing it like that for 20 years, you tell me now. <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> it's things like that. And then the second theme is that is porn. It's everywhere these days. Yeah. And our children are learning from porn. And that is such a bad educator. Yes. Mm. So it's about let's teach children what relationships are like in the real world. Because porn's not going to go away. Well, right, so important. Because so on another yeah. documentary, you, you delve into virtual reality porn, which yes. is next level, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, well, I, what's the third thing? What's the third thing? Okay, so the third thing is that um, sexual and gender diversity is really important. And people, you know, ignorance can mean you, you know, judge people and, and there's a lot of stigma involved around things. And if you sort of open the lid and teach people about different sexual and gender diversity, they can be so much more accepting and tolerant of others whose maybe choices are different from what, mm. what they want to make. Which is interesting because you talked to your parents mm. in this movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and how, tell us a little bit about that. Speaking of diversity. Because well, I, you know, I, I found that opening scene quite confrontational. You talked to I, was, I found it confrontational. Mm. I was like, whoa, Julia's dad, what's going on here? And here's, it's so indicative of actually that, that generation, because my parents were born up in quite a religious background, mm -hmm. you know, Pentecostal, charismatic, Baptist, and open brethren at one stage. They did leave the church, but, you know, they had certain beliefs, and mm. that's how we grew up. And people of my generation, we aren't we don't have what our kids have of a lot more acceptance and tolerance and learning a bit more of what's going around as they did so, so do you think you... by the time he finished watching this documentary and has he seen it yes well actually for the first time mum and dad came to the premiere in wellington oh, Dock Edge. Gosh. they sat right at the very back of the theater <laughs> and it came out and you know that saying that they weren't that tolerant of homosexuality well no, and your father also said that he didn't like gay people to adopt children which i found mm. really upsetting mm. actually which is actually the theme of this whole thing you've got to you know you've got to actually 
it's really important we talk to people about about the acceptance and open their minds mm. and change those views. What about your kids? How do they feel about this documentary? Well, they, <laughs> I sat them down in front of it to watch it, and of course I go, Mum, you are so embarrassing. Are you really going to do so something to kids? embarrass us? 15 and 17. Oh, brilliant. So it's a perfect <laughs> age. And I sat them down to watch it, and I sort of like glancing sideways at them, because it was quite hard to cheer them out of their bedrooms from their computer and their right. iPhones oh, and gross, things Mom. anyway. Yeah, it's yes. like, yeah, gross. And I was watching, they were very quiet during it, especially I was sort of glancing over when the lady was talking about, you've really got to masturbate more. At least I'm not having to teach them that. <laughs> not, I recommend if you want to teach your children a bit about you know, sex education, get them to watch the documentary. Excellent. I was just going to say that because your mum learned about sex education dissecting a frog, which <laughs> you know, I don't know what that's got to do with the relevance of sex, but fascinating. So, so yeah. a really sort of great conversation to have. Are you proud of this work? Oh, very much so. You know, Lisa and the team did an amazing job. We had some yeah. very good... Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you would have liked it to have covered? Oh, we spoke to probably 40 or 50 people and ideally and we went about this to make it a series. Because the documentary is fabulous, but only touches on these different areas. What a series would do, because we spoke to, for instance, it touches on prostitution, but we spoke to people that were maybe uh, pimps for streetwalkers. We spoke to the darker side of prostitution, mm. whereas mm. the people we touched on there were the ones that did it voluntarily and really enjoyed their jobs. So it'd be able to give a balance and to treat all these different themes evenly. You really need to, sorry, you need to put every episode as its its own. Oh yeah, it yeah. sounds well, great. future um, series, yeah, yeah, I like it. Perfect. No, great I, job, I thought it was fascinating watch. So. I am really Congrats. looking forward to seeing yeah. that. Julia, thank you so much. And and hopefully your dad changes his mind soon, but that's all part of the process, isn't it? <laughs> Julia's documentary, let's talk about sex, premiered in Wellington at the Dock Edge Fest. It will be shown as part of the festival in Auckland next Wednesday and Thursday. You can check out the Dock Edge Film Fest website for details.